So this weekend, and about one weekend a month, give or take, we've decided that we're gonna get out of town and go enjoy someplace else. Kyrie is here somewhere, trying to pick me up so that we can go to the airport, but I don't know where here is. I found Kyrie, but um, rush hour traffic has been interesting, and I think now I might vomit. I'm a bad driver. I'm not a bad driver. Um, oh, that was good. You're an okay driver at best. Yeah, but I'm not bad. Okay. We decided not too long ago that maybe once a month or so we would take a weekend trip. We went to Charleston five years ago and we loved it. We've always wanted to go back. So we said, screw it. Let's go back. Didn't do much when we got here because we were tired from the day, as you might imagine. We <laughs> had a glass of wine in bed, and watched some Seinfeld, and then passed out. And it was really nice not have to be, that bird is killing me. It was really nice not have to be woken up by an alarm or something else, so we slept in as, you know, tired people do. But now it's time to explore, and I'll be honest, this is very late for us at 9.30 in the morning, and um, we're headed to the beach, and you can see how Busy, it is. It's not busy. One of the reasons we've always liked Charleston is that we both grew up kind of by the water. I was, uh, Frankly, I grew up in a city just like Charleston. A little bit smaller and a lot north, but still not terribly dissimilar. And then Kyrie grew up with access to Lake Michigan a lot, so, you know, don't get a lot of oceans in Chicago and Nashville, but, you know, here we are. It's definitely comforting. It's uh, five hours after I usually had my first bite to eat, so it's time to eat. The cool part about that restaurant is they have Sun Tzu's The Art of War all over the, uh, all over the ceiling. And behind us now is the Market Street Market. We've been through it twice already, but we were gonna walk through it and show you, but it's a lot. So we are staying at a place called Hotel Emeline, which gave me PTSD because we stayed at something called Hotel Emile in Paris, and everything was so small. And if you know me, I am not a small person. This is probably my favorite part of the hotel. Because I drink water like a camel, I kind of just come here, fill her up. All right, time for a road tour that I forgot to give you yesterday. We got upgraded, um, I don't know why, but this is what we see when you walk right in. Nice little living room, kind of a suite style deal. The bathroom's over there. And the bedroom. I'm curious, in a bed in a dress. That's the room. We're gonna stop sweating for a hot minute because it's still 80 degrees outside. And then we'll get back at it. camera there's a fire truck in front of us. It's been a long day. A lot of moving and walking and shopping but not buying anything. And we've got, uh, holy crap, 20,000 steps. And it's not even 8 o'clock yet. We'll see where the night takes us. Holy crap. 21,374 steps. Focus. I like Charleston a lot reminds me of where I grew up. It's not humongous, but it's big enough to have lots of cool stuff, lots of cool history. Um, yeah, just like where I grew up, although it's a lot more lucky here than it was in New Hampshire. But it's time to chill now. I think uh, that was enough activity for one day. Our flight's at, uh, I think, 7.30. I called for a car for 5.30ish. And, uh, yeah, not looking forward to that alarm clock. <laughs> Are you guys ready? 
guys do a regular aircraft, you have less than two minutes to proceed to build my V6. Again, final boarding call for our flight left. I can't tell you how many DMs I get saying, Mike, you look so tired. What's the matter? Well, this time I did it to myself. I am by no stretch of the imagination a vlogger, although, you know, aspiring YouTuber, sure. And while I do find other vlogs super entertaining, especially from those who are a lot better than I am at vlogging, while I do find them super entertaining, I also feel like there's something to be desired, I guess. See, there's always a reason I do whatever it is I do. Traveling is not different. You know, it's not because I am trying to escape my own reality. Instead, it's because I want to create my own reality. I want to live my life how I see fit. I had a conversation with my father probably about a month ago. Now he's in his 70s, he's been around the block, you know, he knows some things and we were discussing a different trip. Now I'm not going to tell you what this trip is because if it actually happens, the video is going to be a banger. But you know, he said something that I guess, in retrospect, makes all of the sense in the world. He said, you know, if you're even talking about this, you better go do it. Because so few people actually talk about it, let alone have the opportunity to go through with these things. So few people leave their hometowns or home states. And if you have the chance to enrich yourself, go do it. Ever since I had that conversation with him, I've had the same conversation, passing it down to at least a dozen people. You know, it really makes me kind of sad after having that conversation, looking at my friends and looking at my, you know, my peers and seeing, you know, what could have happened, like what could you have done in this time, that time, this time, that time, whatever it is. It's really, I don't feel great about it. If there is any value that you're going to get from watching my wife and me traipse across Charleston, South Carolina, it's this. Towards the end of your life, you're not going to regret watching the third season of The Office that 17th time. Towards the end of your life, you're not going to regret missing the one day in The Office. If you're going to regret something, it's going to be that, you know what, I wish I saw the Northern Lights and I didn't. You know what, going to the South Pole, North Pole, whatever, was a goal of mine and I got to do neither of them. I really wanted to hike Kilimanjaro, but you know, I just never got around to it. Stop it. Just stop it right now. Go do the thing. There's no way you're gonna become a less interesting person going doing things. There is a way that you become a less interesting person by spending your life on your couch. Go do the thing. I'll see you next time.